Hello, hello, welcome to day 12 of 30 days of line. So now we're going to move more into data transformation since we've been able to isolate the data we want to focus on by using all these columns here. The column expressions node, it lets you do so many things for both numerical and string variable types. Another node that helps you to work with transforming string data is the string manipulation node. If you're beginning with NIME, I'd recommend you go to this one. The column expressions, I prefer it because it does a whole lot more than the string manipulation. And with this one, it's really great because you can do multiple different formulas here, but you can also do, you can do both numerical and string based manipulations. So for instance, one thing I would like to do is notice how here we have the flight number. It's only a number, but usually when you fly in the US, the flight number, or actually worldwide, the flight number has letters. So it's letters and then the flight number. So it's usually the airline code and the flight number. So I'd like it to be that way here, not just a number. So I need to extract this from the airline name and add it to this flight number. And that's what I'm going to do now using the column expressions node. So I can add a new expression here and I can specify if I want my output to be a new column call whatever I want. I can edit that here, you know, or I can replace a column, which is actually what I want to do in this case, because I want to change what the flight number reads by extracting the airline code from the airline name. So I click on flight number and I start to build my function. Basically, I'm going to be using the write function and also the join function. So first I need to extract the last two values from the airline name column. So I'm going to click on function and I'm going to click on, just see actually, let me just go slower here. These shows you how many things you can do. You can do some mathematical functions, get the absolute value, the cosine. Remember sine and cosine, those good old days in high school, arrays of things. So you can do both things which are based on math. You can do time functions as well with date and time. You can do counts. You can do floors for rounding um, related functions. You can do duration stuff. So you can do so many, so many things here. That's why I like to use this one versus using the string manipulation or the math formula node. But anyways, so we are looking for a write function here. Right. Okay. So I want to take the write from the airline name and I want to take two places. So two values. So I'm, I mean, if you're familiar with doing this in Excel, I think you would get how this relates to Excel. So in Excel, you have the write function as well. You specify where your text column, where your text cell is, and you specify how many values you want to take from the right. But I need to wrap this around a join function because I'm going to be joining this to the flight number. So now I'm going to go here and select that flight number column. And I'm going to wrap everything all up. So to make sure this works before I run it through my whole data set, I can click on evaluate and I can see that that looks right. I have an airline code and I have my flight number to give me a flight number that I think is more appropriate. You can always add another expression. You can add, you can add many expressions here actually. So you can just go in and build another one the same way we built the first one. And if you don't want it, you can always delete as well. You can have it fail if there's an error in the script and you can work with flow variables as well. I'm not going to be covering flow variables during these 30 days because I want to keep it more on the beginner side. But maybe after I'm done with this series, I may have a follow up on functionalities in NIME you should know about and flow variables is definitely one of those ones. So for now, I'm satisfied with this formula of built. Let's run it and look at the results. 
So you can see now, compare this to what it looked like before. Just numbers after. We have the airline code extracted from here and the flight number to give us a flight number which includes the airline code. And that is the column expressions node. It's a powerhouse for transforming data. I'm only showing one example for time limitations, but I intend to use this work, the some data sets for a lot of the nodes I'm showcasing. Once I'm done, I will upload this and I will have some more manipulations for you to see as examples. All right, so this brings us to the end of day 12. I hope to see you in day 13, where we're going to look at some more data transformation. Have a lovely evening, guys. Goodbye.